Right, we're live. We're live? Wow. Okay. Here we are, live at Borrego Outfit. And uh, <laughs> ready for the holiday season. Uh, we're getting there. Yep. We're getting we're there. We're definitely getting there. So, you know, just want to send out a big hello to everyone. Uh, we're uh, here for you during the holiday season, uh, shopping in the store and uh, online and by Zoom, however you might want to do it. And luckily, we're fully staffed with a group of uh, experts and gift. Absolutely. And here's the expert gifting. of all experts. Experts in gifting and gift wrapping, yeah. which yeah. which is what we do um, here at the Outfitters. Right. So um, what I oh. I'm going to turn it over to Donna. Thank I'm going to get out of the way um, and uh, take it away, Donna. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, so what I decided to do to um, to get this gifting started was the, all those little things that you know that you you know you might be a good friend, a neighbor that helps you out, it might be the person that cuts your hair, it might be the person that takes care of your dog or your cat when you're away. You know that person that you want to get something for. Doesn't have to be big, just something fun. And you know, and, and usually these people have everything, so you're at a quandary as to what to pick. So what I've done is I've put together some things. I love a theme. So the first theme here, and that's why I'm standing in front of all of our food items, is food. So what I did was I picked a oil and a vinegar and a lovely tepanade, and we can put that all in a gift bag for you and make it look really nice. It could be, you know, maybe a couple of jams or jellies, or it, you know, it could be a pesto. Um, we've got all kinds of, oh, and the, the, uh, the aiolis are a great gift as well. So a food gift is always a fun thing to do, and it can be very generic, right? Um, and then the next food I'd, uh, uh, idea is I like to put like a little a kitchen gadget in with the item. So here I did a little salsa bowl, and this is a really cute, you know, with, um, a, with a cactus design, and an avocado starter, right? All you have to do is mash up your avocado and mix that in. And the ultimate avocado tool, this, this guy is like the bomb. Um, it's got a serrated edge to cut through. It's got the, the uh, pointed edge that you can like jab the pit and pull it out and it's got a scoop with a jagged edge that you can scoop out if you want to do it that way that makes a fabulous gift especially for around here you could even go to the grocery store and, and add an avocado to it and that make it really cute the next gift I've got here is um, uh, hot cocoa and who doesn't love hot cocoa um, in the winter time so this is a a hand warmer mug and the way you do it is it your hand goes in like this so that it keeps your hand warm while you're drinking it so you can get a real cool looking mug and we've got Chihuahua's spicy Maya cocoa mix and you might as well throw in a spicy Maya chocolate bar as, as well the next gift now we're getting a little bit more personal and feminine so I picked uh, Capri Blue. This is one of the new lines that we have in the store. And this is their uh, Blue Jean scent, and we just love it. it and I did a candle and the, and the lotion and a uh, spray perfume, which would make a, just a beautiful bit. The next one is, um, this is our Locals. So I have the Local Soap from Sudsy Sue. And up in Julian, I have Adjoy's lotion and room spray. Another great gift. And if you wanted to do just soap, we have cute little boxes that you could just put a soap in. The next one, everybody here loves these Swedish dishcloths. And if you haven't tried one, they are absolutely the bomb. I said that twice, didn't I? <laughs> so um, what it is, is it's not a dishcloth. It's not a sponge. It's a sponge cloth. And it's fabulous. And we have them in so many cute designs. So I put together 
the Swedish dishcloth with a set of dishcloths that match and uh, in the, a matching um, water bottle. And we could do all kinds of things like, I've got adventure weights and there's a mug for it. And it, I can go on and on, but I won't because Corey's waiting in the wings. Hey, it's my turn. So I get to talk to you about one of my personal favorite guilty pleasures of the store here. It is a great gift, I promise, not just for fun. <laughs> um, it's a fun spot mainly because we can play with it. We can customize the knives for any guy or gal in your gifting needs. We have fr varieties from you know every price range to the ultimate price range uh, with Benchmade over here, which you'll see in a second. Um, but I really like to talk about the knives because it's, it's not just the utility tool. It's a really great gift, a really beautiful quality when it comes to a few different brands here. Um, and again, like I said, I'm, I'm a knife gal, so it doesn't have to be just for the guys in your group that are in need of a gift. And if you think he has too many, you can never have too many knives. <laughs> They're all great for anything you need. And when it comes down to it, you can even get down the fun axes and uh, camping tools and entrenching tool over there. Um, the knives, I could get into each and every one and tell you every little detail, but that's probably not very exciting. Um, but I would like to let you know that I love this area. So if you have questions, need help, guidance, um, it's something that I can definitely have fun playing with you. And this is a personal favorite. You'll find it in my pocket pretty much every day. <laughs> um, so knives are fun, easy, pick your price range gift and um, utility. It could be a um, uh, guy on the go or a gal on the go. Either way, we have knives for anybody if you wanted to hit that category. The other thing I'd like to talk about is again, another guilty pleasure, personal favorite. This is a uh, semi-local artist in San Diego. This gentleman, uh, Jay, these are called continuum timepieces and they're all hand um, etched out of there and with different kinds of woods and really nice fine leathers. Maybe Paige can take a look at them with me out of the way. But really well made, beautiful knives, or knives, sorry, <laughs> watches, um, each handmade and can be custom done. They have a website that you can check them out and see, but these are the six that we have to offer and there are a lot of beautiful pieces there. Um, then the next favorite is silly, cute, and fun. I love Life is Good. And these, what can go wrong with something cozy and warm for the winter? <laughs> so this year we've got a little beer theme going. Well, I've got a little beer theme going because it's just fun. So you can get funny and trust me, you can dance or <laughs> your diversified portfolio here. And all of these, of course, I had to make the theme like Donna, go back to the beer thing going on. And talk of beer and music. One of Karen's favorites, yeah, and my favorites, of course. Keep it simple, soft with some beer. You can't go wrong. <laughs> um, and then I love to stay warm. I am always freezing cold, and this is the first thing that I go to when I go home. And just want to get into my jammies and cozies, but not totally ready to go to bed yet. It's easy, you could work out, be cozy, but um, fun, giftable. We have it a bunch of different sizes. Um, one color, though. And then the last thing I'll bother you guys with is a guy's favorite here is the sweat pants short. So you put it with the sweatshirt and have that same little gift or stay individual. But we have it in multiple colors here because of how popular it is. It's cozy, simple, and for like my boyfriend who doesn't wear pants because he's always hot, you get the shorts. <laughs> um, I'm gonna hand you off to Karen now. Karen's got some more fun little gadgety thing to tell you about. Hello there. So I wanted to show you some things in our activities section today. You know, we have a lot of stuff for kids in here, but we also have stuff for big kids. And I wanted to kind of concentrate on that today. Um, one of the things that's been hugely popular since COVID is jigsaw puzzles. Um, we've got a big variety, but this one has been the runaway favorite here in the store. This National Parks puzzle, it's got kind of the retro, old retro posters. Um, this has just been like such a hit, I can't even tell you. It's a really cool one. 
so I wanted to point that out. I did it. <laughs> and then this is a new company for us called Spice Box. If those of you who are familiar with Klutz Kids Kits, they're kind of like that, but they're more for teens and adults. Um, this is a really cool one. They come with everything you need to get started on your project. So this is flipbook animation. Remember those little, brrr, you know, and it looks like a little movie. Um, you can also make a zoetrope, which is the little thing that you spin and look down in it and it looks like the picture's moving. But you can see it comes with everything that you need. It's got everything there is all the stuff to build the zoetrope, all of your instructions. These are really cool. These are great for like an older kid, um, you know, an adult who's stuck at home and wants to start a new hobby but doesn't really know where to begin. And you know, you're not maybe not taking a class right now, but this is everything. It's got your instructions, your paper, all the pens, everything you need, everything you need to get going. And it comes really nicely packaged. It's got a little band there to keep it closed. So these are really nice. Um, and then another thing that we've had for a while um, are the Metal Earth Kits. These are kind of, you know, for like 14 and up. Um, they're a tab and slat metal model. That's what they look like. Excuse my band-aid. <laughs> um, these are really cool. You can put them together just with tweezers, but we also have a tool kit, which makes things a little bit easier, especially if you, as you get into the more complicated ones. Um, but one of the really neat things about these is that you can just slip them into a greeting card and send them off to somebody, which is really nice. Not a lot of, uh, you know, no big production with the shipping yet. And we've got all kinds of those Wild West ones up there. Um, so that's it. Okay, so yeah, we just wanted to give you a few ideas this week, and we're going to do a few more next week, right? Um, and we want to be, you know, your Santa's little helper here at Daringo Outfitters. So join us again next week. We hope to see you in the store soon. Yep. Bye. See you guys. Bye.